It's time to get primed up, noob noob. I heard you're a big fan of that Logan Paul fella. I want his Charizard card all over my nipples. Oh my god. What are we talking? We're talking about crypto zoo and white people. Eggs. Them eggs. You got to get that crypto zoo. So there's been a big break in the crypto zoo case. And if you're unaware, we're going to describe to you what crypto zoo is. We're going to take you not through the timeline. Still don't know what crypto zoo is. We're going to give you an uneducated view of crypto zoo and what we think of it. Logan Paul Samuel Freed Bankman. Yes, Logan Samuel Freed Bankman. Morgan Bankman Freeman. Morgan Friedman Bankman. He's a crypto guy. He's a crypto bro. So he came up with this idea. What if you could blend NFTs with a game with Pokemon? What? So here we go. Hold on to your butts. Oh, look at this. I went on the Crypto Zoo World dot com and i've already got an ad for stake.com which seems betting. like a crypto Sports casino and Chris- oh jesus oh god we're already ru- already down the wrong wrong hole i don't know who owns crypto zoo but it's like nft crypto project by logan paul oh is he still hatchback in that chick or do they break up oh nina no not um oh that's right he's engaged to nina agdahl Right? Yeah. Yeah. He dumped the uh, Zoe. No. Zoe. I was the girl from the, uh, not uh, the Avengers, but from the Inhumans, Earthquake Girl. Oh. She thinks she's attractive. Uh, the, the hot, hot, sort of Asian yeah, girl. Yeah, she could end up alone, cat girl. Uh, She was going to be in Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, but that, that, did, oh, that didn't do, go so well. Chloe Bennett. There you go. Chloe Bennett. I was close. I liked her. Zoe, Chloe. Close enough. Chloe Bennett, yeah. So Crypto Zoo World joined the most exciting crypto game and community. Hatch eggs, breed animals, play with hybrids, earn yield in zoo, collect NFTs, and bring them into the real world. Become a zookeeper today. I'm ready. Let's sign up. How do I buy me some eggs? So essentially, and I think CoffeeZilla did this. He broke how, how to do this. You pay real money with eggs. You buy dem eggs, then you hatch dem eggs. And then when you give us the real monies, you can blend them into bizarre AI animals that no one ever wanted to see in their yeah, entire seems lives. Very unnecessary. Look at that. It's like an elephant, but it's El- a panda, panda bear. Panda fent. Panda fent. Lot. Stop with the casinos. No, <laughs> there's some ugly animals in here. Uh, you could buy it with Ethereum or some other cryptocurrency, which I don't know. How does anyone, how does everyone not understand that NFTs are a scam and crypto is scam? People don't get that yet. You're using fake money to buy fake things. No, you're buying, using real money to buy fake things. No, you, well, no, you're, you're buying, you're using real money to buy fake money to buy fake things. Yes. Fake money to buy fake things. So you buy these eggs and then maybe one of your eggs hatches and there's something about the eggs where they like they were supposed to earn money back and then if you started hybridizing your animals you'd get like a chance of getting like a more unique animal and then maybe that unique animal would crap out more eggs i was gonna say what of any of these things makes it valuable to then resell like why do any of this well it's supposed to be a game but what it sounds like is that you give me fake money and then I give you fake animals, and then you cash in that fake those fake animals to buy more fake eggs. You know, it kind of goes up in layers. So it's a Ponzi scheme. Oh, I never said that. You did. Is that illegal to say now? No. Oh. Okay. You can absolutely say it's a Ponzi scheme. Sounds uh, like it. How do you buy animals? Well, you need eggs or animals. You could buy eggs that you hatch in animals or just straight up buy them animals. These animals look real stupid. (laughs) Let's look at some hybrids. And this is all direct from the the website itself. So what ended up happening is that all of this was bogus, fake, like the game never worked. Like here's a turtle. Do you feel real excited about your turtle? That's pretty goddamn horrifying. (laughs) It's a common. 
Uh, it's daily yield is 145 of whatever your fake money is. I don't know is. what that means. <laughs> Look at this. You got a panda fan. <laughs> How do you feel about your panda fan? Why? Why? <laughs> oh, Has he drank too much Prime where his brain is melted from the caffeine and sugar? Absolutely. There's 336 hybrids possible. Look at that. Pengolion. Lib, that's the laziest thing I've ever so seen. So he's literally just trying to do Pokemon through NFTs. Except they're really bad AI. It's like as if you took the AI. Uh, yeah, you went to uh, what's Or the Canva? super powerful AI. Yeah. And just said, can you put the head of a lion on a penguin? Or can you add a blobfish head to a naked mole rat? And then AI does the rest. I swear to God, if this is successful, I'm going to be pissed. What do you mean? Oh, okay. So Logan Paul was like, bro, we've sank like a million dollars into this, which. He put a million dollars into this? <laughs> I don't know. Dear Lord. He claims he surrounded himself with a bunch of bad guys. And um, now he's suing a bunch of people, which I, I don't think any of that is real. I think he was 100% part of it, allegedly. Uh, but CoffeeZilla kind of broke this whole thing and he broke it down. So now Logan Paul's finally saying, I'm going to help all of my Logan Paul fans and I will pay you back in real monies, not in Prime, which he owns a minority stake in. How do you feel about this uh, penguin with crappy butterfly wings yeah this is just distur a lot of this is disturbing it's, it's stupid imagine you paid like real money and this is what you That's got what i'm saying like what is the real money compared like what are you paying what people lost like 10 because they, they were like oh it's crypto and an nft put together they lost like tens of thousands of dollars this is double stupid you are not Logan kidding. Paul is just stealing look at this. money. There's a lot of penguin mixes. Like, look at this shark penguin thing. I do is, like the cat face on the lion. I'll give him that one. I that's like, the one you like. I like Would that you one. pay five thousand dollars? Would that? not do that. <laughs> Wouldn't pay five dollars for it. But uh -huh. I do enjoy looking at it. It's cute. Uh huh. Well, and, and all of this is coming soon. If you didn't notice before, oh look, it's a bear shark. Why? <laughs> That's pretty Why? That is so bad. That's clownish. A fucking five-year-old could think of these things. Uh, our super powerful AI could do even better than this. So apparently, if you like the eggs and animals, you, you just buy them on the Ethereum network. You, you see them in your wallet, and you add the token. There's 336 hybrids. Can you breed hybrids? No, hybrids are sterile. But you can earn between 145 and 64,852 zoo tokens per day, depending on your hybrid's rarity. So you're supposed to hang on to them, I guess, to increase scarcity. I'm going to bet that there's no math behind any of this. Like, no. there's nothing. He's like, let's make real life Pokemon where we can steal your money. Yes. And then maybe one of the main features is breeding. You take base. If you if you get an egg with a cat, you could breed a turtle and it's a just, butterfly. It's Pokemon. Yeah, but can you make disgusting mutants that make you no? Want to you cry? can breed Pokemon though. And there's a cooldown period, like days. Yeah, he's literally just stealing Pokemon's basic concepts. You can breed a Squirtle with uh, Charizard and get a no. Squirtizard. You just get like another Squirtle. <laughs> Is that how Pokemon works? There's no crossbreeding. There's no trans <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's not quite Pokemon. Yeah. So this site is still up. For now. Oh, it's been up. And it, I don't think it's ever coming he down, needs baby. To be shut down. Logan Paul, a big team of developers and many partners w that will reveal their faces in the project advances. Should we meet the team? Let's meet them. Oh, Logan Lord. Paul. It takes a wild mind to imagine something as crazy and ambitious as CryptoZoo after conquering Vine, YouTube, and boxing. Are you... <laughs> so stupid. Manager Jeff. That guy. Yeah. Ben Roth. And no one else. Wow. <laughs> Not another soul. <sighs> so anyway, uh, he's, isn't he the same inventor of Dink Doink? I a, have another no coin? Idea. You never heard of that? He did. I think he did make a fake coin. Yeah, it's called Dink Doink. 
It did not do well. No, it was worth nothing. So anyway, now the BBC reports, after all this, Logan Paul is willing to pay people back. So if you're looking for your refund, he's offering oh, a failed. partial refund. Oh, yeah, it failed. There was the last update was 2021. Do you think there's been any oh updates? Oh, my since? God, really? Yeah, he's been floating this for two years. Jesus. So he offers a partial refund for the failed crypto zoo game. He's begun the process of buying back NFTs from fans who lost money. He announced the game in 2021, but it never materialized. Paul, now 28. Good Lord. We have like another 30 to He's 50 only years 28. Of, Holy shit. of this annoyance. Make him go away, please. If somebody would just, uh, you know. Take care of it. You know. Buy back his coins. I didn't know that. he was that young. Dear Lord. He needs to do more boxing, get more brain concussions. <laughs> he needs more CTE. I mean, he seems to have pretty much a lot of CTE. If you check out the video about his body count, girl, that's got to, you have to have a lot of CTE to avo- to uh, ignore the body count. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's true. Yeah. She got plowed a lot. She, <laughs> she smashed a lot. She did. She smashed. So he says he's going to buy back the tokens on the condition that fans do uh, who accept do not sue him. Sounds like what a bank would do. I think that, I mean, if he's willing to buy it back and you won't sue him for it, I mean, no harm, no foul. Yeah. Right. If you get your 10 G's back, I'm cool with that. So I don't know why people are hitting him so hard. But they're saying it's unlikely that fans will get all their money back, especially since it's not worth anything. What if he like sells it back for like pennies on the dollar? Where he's like, "Oh, you spent ten thousand dollars. What if I give you like two grand back? Would you take it?" And and just so you could not sue him? Mm, no, I'd still I I just want to sue him. Whoa! What if they just sue him into oblivion? Like he made me gay. Oh my! He, he, your girlfriend. She turned to hummus. Yeah. She would no longer accept you for who you were. She wouldn't take my orange juice. No, not anymore. Not if it was made in the wrong country. She just wants hummus. <laughs> At the time, Paul encouraged to buy cryptocurrency collectibles for what he called a really fun game that makes you money. After selling millions of dollars worth of NFTs and crypto coins, he stopped talking about CryptoZoo and then abandoned the project. He was like, yeah, whatever. Then CoffeeZilla... Released a, that guy's super weird too. We'll have to react to one of his videos one day because he's like this weird old. It's like I'm an old timey uh, journalist. Yeah, see, I'm gonna break the story. See, but he talks to like a robot bartender. So weird. Yes, but that. he's he's a legit investigative journalist. Just very weird. Sounds neat. <laughs> it's very neat. Uh, so he he actually spoke to Coffeezilla in uh. 2022 after he got exposed and he did apologize and said he wants to make this right a year later he says he's going to start the buyback buyback process which will cost him 2.3 million dole hairs or 1.8 million euros he will refund players 0.1 ether oh my gosh so he's going to sell it back into ether he's like i got all this free ether i want to get rid of they were sold in 2021 for 0.1 ether. Hey, that sounds like a fair deal, man. You buy back because if you could prove that you paid 0.0.1 ether for these things, he's giving you your dollar for dollar, man. Maybe we shouldn't be so hard on him. You don't think so? I sure. I just want his Charizard card. Ah, uh, the fake Charizard card. No, it's real. No, oh, no, it's fake. You didn't hear about him getting faked out on all that? Oh, is it fake? I think a lot of it's fake. I think of all Just like fake. his fucking crypto zoo. Exactly. He's living a fake life. Yeah. It's not even a fake no, girlfriend. he does a fake sport. He, he does wrestling, too. Wow, everything about him is fake. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know how people don't realize that. People have until uh, the 8th of February. So you don't have a lot of time, folks. You have about a month to accept the refund. <laughs> uh, but you have to do so on the condition that you won't make any legal claims against him or any other people connected to crypto zoo one investor who spent forty thousand dollars on nfts told the bbc last year that he was not interested in a refund and wanted paul to complete the project to make the much hyped game and nfts fulfilled to their much hyped potential 
yo bro it's like saying uh hey disney world can you make me a uh avatar ride where i can turn into an avatar because you told me you could <laughs> and then they can't make you into an avatar and you're like bro i ain't moving until you make me into an avatar oh wait <laughs> yeah you could do that Karen. yeah i want to speak to the manager about this bro take your forty thousand and run uh, he here, as they say, he previously promoted cryptocurrency Dink Doink on June 2021st, which crashed in value and is now worthless. No more Dink Doink for you, Noob Noob. Wow, we should have bought some. We well, last time we bought NFTs, yeah, that didn't was, work out so well no, for us. No, we, we bought Bitcoin, not Bitcoin. We no, bought we Dogecoin. bought Dogecoin. We made money, and then it was stolen. It was the basis of our entire channel. We founded this channel on on Dogecoin. On Dogecoin, that is true. Which is now no longer ours. Stolen. Yeah. Lost what in the is world. Dogecoin at right now? Would we have been up? I forget. We would have been up. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think Logan Paul is a fraud or do you think that Logan Pro uh, Logan Prod? Do you think Logan Fraud is a fraud or do you think Logan Fraud is actually we should just call him Logan Fraud? Absolutely. Oh my god. I just discovered something new. Anyway, do you think Logan Fraud uh is doing right by the people? I think it's not unfair for him to say if you spent forty thousand dollars. I will give you back $40,000. Just don't sue me. I think that's a fair deal. It is fair. Fair and square. So maybe we shouldn't be so hard on him. Anyway, let me know what you think down in, in the uh, comments below. Let Noob Noob know if you want him to be awake or asleep. And in the meantime, catch our audio podcast. It is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. Uh, it's all free to you. And we live stream every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on YouTube. Gotta love us. We the baby. But we are on to the next one. Yeah.